Hey everyone, my name is Dreamman and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a chicken egg farm thingy. If you like to skip to a certain part of the video, like maybe you're awesome and you want to hit the demo part because that makes total sense because the demo's up next and you're going and wasting all your effort trying to click it, then click on the annotations above. Otherwise, I'm going to start by showing you a demonstration of it. Eggs. So basically what happens is you stand here at the end of the water where you can collect all the eggs that the chickens hatch. And then once you get all the eggs you want, you can like make a mob grinder or something so you can kill the chickens and take the meat. Or you could go up to the top of your um, chicken farm and you can add more chickens to it. Or just annoy them, which is what I like to do because they're annoying me. And you can see there's a lot of chickens here. And it's even worse considering this is my survival map, so it's all legit and I haven't spawned anything in. So that's that's pretty sad. Don't don't know why I bothered. But I, I get a lot of eggs. That's that's good. So I can make cake with it. And I can spawn some more chickens and I can also get meat from it. Yay! In the next section, I'll be showing you how to make one, because you probably don't actually care how to make one, but I'm going to show you anyway. So yeah, let's go. For this tutorial, you'll need 8 signs, 6 water, some waste blocks, some tools, and also some eggs, preferably enough to spawn a chicken, otherwise you won't get a chicken farm. So basically, the first thing you want to do is find a flat area. I've got one here. It's all nice and flat. It's pretty high up as well. It's a very nice place. And then what you want to start to do is to make a wall. So I'm just going to make it ten long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just make it pretty high. But that was a dumb mistake. And then you want to continue it this way, except this time, eight long. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just go fill it up so it's free high, so that our chickens can't escape. Like so. And then you do the same thing on the other side. So it's just like. They can't escape unless they glitch or they push each other out or something. And now, what you want to go do is put one water there and skip a block. Put one water there, skip another block. Put a water block there, skip another. Put one there, and then put one at the end there. You should be able to float down to the end. Where you want to dig down a row one by eight, then come here, dig that one, put a sign there so that the water stops. It's like a water blade. Then do the same on each of these blocks. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll leave one of the signs with a D on it because wants to be different. Like so. And it's becoming night time so I'm going to put some torches down so I can actually see. Now you want to dig it one more deep down there. And put your final water bucket or whatever down there so it can reach the other end. And just dig down to it so it stops there. And you can dig like a staircase or something. I usually do a staircase. You can be different. Now I'm just gonna fill the hole in here so we don't get any thing looking bad. Now I'm just gonna get rid of that because I don't need it. And make another wall that's 
8 long, 3 high. Like, so, and there's a cow there. Probably gonna put some torches in here so we can actually see. Just fill it in to get some chickens. And your chicken farm is pretty much complete. So when you get some eggs, you can come down here, the eggs will be here, and all you have to do is either you could stand down here when you don't have any chickens and shoot them up. And you can go up here and do the same thing, but when you get a lot just make a staircase or something up to the top so you can easily hit the eggs in unless you have flame mods or you're playing on creative so in the next section I'll be showing you some uses of it because it's pretty pretty useful for more things than getting eggs This farm has many uses, the first one being that it can produce eggs, the second one being that it can lag your computer, and the third one being it can spawn non-existent Minecraft ponies on insane difficulty. In the next section I'll be showing you how it works and yeah, let's go there now. So how this works is, basically when you chuck an egg, it has a certain chance of spawning a chicken. So when you spawn a chicken, like I just did then, they, for some reason, always float on water. I don't know why, not programmed it that way. So we use that to our advantage, so we can collect the eggs, and make it so they can't escape. And so they jump, and go all crazy like. In 1.8 they don't despawn, so we also use that to our advantage, because in 1.7 you would actually have to stay at the farm forever, otherwise won't exist anymore and each chicken after about seven minutes and 40 seconds will lay another egg and because the water is here it pulls the egg down here till it gets to the sign where the water stops because minecraft acts as if the sign is actually a block so the water doesn't go through it because minecraft thinks it's a block but the items for some reason drop through it and then they end up here so we've got the egg, and we've got another stream of water that pulls the egg to our collection where we pick up the egg and then we can chuck it back in or we'll use it for egg stuff. And yeah, that's how it works. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can always click the button that says dislike that should appear right now. It's definitely not a Rick Rolling website or anything, it's it's definitely a dislike button, it's not rickroll or anything. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys soon.